A simple song of a bird, the pleasant morning sun, or simply a walk amongst the trees can lift up anybody's mood. That is exactly what we are going to read in this poem today. Written by Robert Frost, Dust of Snow. Before I tell you more, let me tell you about the life and works of this exceptional man who needs no introduction. Robert Frost was born in 1874 in San Francisco, California. He was an American poet, much admired for his depictions of rural life of New England and his command over American colloquial speech. His realistic poems portrayed ordinary people in everyday situations. He graduated from Lawrence High School in 1892 as a class poet. Two years later, the New York Independent accepted his poem, My Butterfly. This gave him his status as a professional poet. Frost's first book was published when he was about 40. Later, he went on to win a record four Pulitzer Prizes. He also became the most famous poet of his time. Frost was also nominated for the Nobel Prize in Literature 31 times. That's right, 31 times. His most famous work include Fire and Ice, The Road Not Taken, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening, West Running Brook, Acquainted with the Night, The Lovely Shall Be Choosers, from snow to snow, and many more. He also wrote some famous plays like A Way Out, The Cows in the Corn, A Mask of Reason, A Mask of Mercy, etc. The poem Dust of Snow, which is our poem today, is Robert Frost's well-known work. This poem presents a moment that seems simple, but has a larger significance. Let's read and find out what it is about. Ready? Okay. Dust of Snow, written by Robert Frost. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. These lines seem simple, hmm? but it is a whole lot underlying beneath it. Now, the crow is commonly regarded as a symbol of death and fear. It is not associated with goodness. Hmm? In these lines, we see a complete irony where it is doing a good deed by shaking off the snow. Note that the poet didn't choose trees like oak, maple, pine. Instead, he chose hemlock, which is usually associated with poison and toxicity. Have you heard it being called by the names of poison hemlock or poison parsley? Yeah? See, this is how it looks. So in the stanza, we read that the beautiful snow on the branches of the poisonous hemlock tree is shaken off by a crow. What happens next? It's time for me to go now, but I will see you with more beautiful poems, more beautiful stories in time to come. Until then, be kind and take care of yourselves and each other. Goodbye. Tutimate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.